All right, guys, uh, I want to show you something pretty exciting today. This is, um, <clears throat> we've got a new pod.exe file that will come out that will sh allow you to fully integrate uh, the Unicore tools uh, into uh, TGC 2019. Specifically, you can use all the QED stuff like swing analysis, uh, swing path video, uh, everything that you can find in the Ignite and all of that will run in the background or alongside TGC uh, 2019 now. So, you know, what that really means is you can now have it all. Play TGC, get the swing analysis, get the club through the ball impact, all of that stuff at one time, you know, in a seamless integration. So let me walk you through how it works. And... Um, uh, we'll come in, uh, open up your, uh, you know, this is, of course, you don't have this file right now, but uh, the new pod EXE, uh, this is your sound. We're going to hit uh, none. That's if you want, you know, the OK and all that sound stuff to go overlaid through TGC, onto TGC. I'm going to select no, it's none, so uh, then we hit go. Uh, we'll minimize that, open up your... Uh, Ignite software. And I don't really think it matters what order you do this in, but um, it, it may. Um, but um, I, I've, I've done it three or four times now, so uh, <clears throat> I'm going to hit a uh, seven iron. All right. Now, normally when I'm playing, I would I would put this Ignite software on my monitor and then I would open up TGC and drag that over to my projector but I want to run these side by side so that you guys can see it uh, but uh, you know I think you know what I mean you know if you if you run your displays as extended and you drag one you know one over to the other but you're using the same computer same graphics card same swing everything's tied together but I'm gonna my screen will get a little bunched up, but I want you to see it all at one time so you get an idea of how it's working. So we'll open up uh, TGC. <coughs> and of course, I've got my little web, uh, you know, inset here so you can kind of see me hit and do everything. But so I may have a little too much going on, but. Uh, I think you'll get the idea. Uh, all right, so now we're going to go and uh, we'll open up the uh, driving range. Okay. I'll go ahead and pick a 7 iron. Now I'm going to move this over. And then I'm going to open up uh, the Ignite beside it just so you can see what's happening. And let's hit a sh couple of shots. and then we'll, uh, I'll show you the data. But you can see both, both programs are picking up the data instantly. Um, and I'll do a little side-by-side -side comparison here in a, in a second. Uh, let me try to hit a couple of good seven irons. All right. So now let's go look at this for a minute. Uh, same shot, and I'm gonna let's look over at the uh, QED, uh, QED side for a minute. Um, if I bring in the physical panel. You can see that shot had a seven iron, had a carry of 143, uh, and it rolled out about five yards for about you know right at 150. That 
seems to be pretty accurate to me. Uh, you know, I only hit two shots. I haven't warmed up. Seven iron generally for me will fly about 150. Um, but I, you know, like I said, I'm not really warmed up. I get over on the uh, TGC side. I'm going to hit I, which will bring up the information page. And we can see that they read it as carry of 151, five yard bounce, and a 10 yard roll. So they're going to claim that I ran that, I, I re, uh, hit that 166. I probably would believe the Unicor uh, algorithm a little, a little better. You know, a seven iron to roll out 10 yards is pretty strong. I uh, hit that ball pretty high, uh, 20, 20 two degree launch angle. Now let's look at this. You can come over here, let's see, let me back this up a little bit. We can come over here and we can see club speed this is right here behind my uh, inlet uh, 78, 78, ball speed 106, 106, smash factor 136, 136, so you know swing plane 8, 8 in out so all that's coming over. Again, what, where you see the differences in the algorithm calculating the yardage both on carry um, and total and rollout. So you know, I'm, that's kind of up to you on what you want to believe. I, I, I'd love to think that I could, uh, you know, I hit that 166 yards, but I think that's probably a little generous. Um, but, you know, again, that, that's up to you to decide. Now, we can also go in here and do the swing motion. So let's go back. Let's go back and hit, hit that, and I'll show you how that looks. So let's say, and again, I would not have this side by side if I were not recording. I would, I would have one on the monitor and one on the, on the uh, hitting screen. But just a demo. push that pretty bad but you can see you know you can see the replay coming up uh, again if I wanted to go back in here pull this over let's say I wanted to do a replay I wanted to stop it here's really neat I'm, I'm going back and forth with my mouse stroll scroll bar um, and you can see how I can control it I could come in here you know show you how bad I'm swaying on the ball look at that shoulder moving up I, I do some kind of, you know I wish I could keep these sh shoulders and keep this this head from moving but look at that look at that head move look at everything moving out of out of place that's what that's what that's what happens when you got a 55 year old body that that's not that can't bend like it used to. The body can't do what the mind thinks it can. Anyway, uh, we do the same thing with the club path. Again, that's all the shot that you had with the TGC <coughs> uh, graphics so, or program. So you get TGC graphics with the QED tools and so forth. We could do the same thing if we're playing uh, around a round of golf. Let's go. Uh, let's get out of that. Let's go and uh, play a little bit of golf. If we go and open up, uh, continue. I'm not sure where I was on this course. Uh, Hello there. I'm putting. I don't want to putt. Let me. Uh, I'm still John. Let's do. Uh, uh, 
I'll concede that hole. Okay. Sitting at seven over for the round. Keep an eye on that wind. Could come into play on this. All right, so I'm just going to go hit a shot, but we can now again. Normally, I would have this full screen on the on the uh, projection on the on my hitting screen, and I would have this one play, uh, on, on my monitor. Um, but we'll go ahead and uh, let's do live. Let's come over here and, and hit a shot. I'm, again, I'm just going to hit a seven. So there you go, fellas. Um, nice. If that doesn't make sense to you, let me know. Um, again, I, I think it's giving you the best of both worlds. Um, you'll get this POD, this pod exe file in the next few days. You know, again, uh, the QED Unicorn guys are unbelievable. You know. Uh, I mentioned it'd be nice to, you know, you mentioned it's nice to have something, and then in a couple of days the developers are giving it to you. So unbelievable. Um, I think you'll like this. If you have any questions, let me know. Talk to you later.